10,000 years ago, Earth was home to an estimated six trillion trees. By the end of the last century, that number had halved. Our taming of the wild is often regarded as a routine part of humanity's progress. But as we are fast discovering, by removing forests, we are harming biodiversity and ourselves. I can't think of anything that we do which is not founded on nature's processes. So if we jeopardize that, it's not just our economies that are in trouble. Our lives are in trouble. To have any chance of keeping below 1.5 degrees of global warming, we need to value the services that healthy forests can provide. Services such as absorbing vast amounts of carbon from the atmosphere, cleaning the air we breathe, and providing fresh water. Inspiring immense spiritual and cultural value, as well as underpinning healthy food systems and generating new income opportunities. Acai Berry brings $1.5 billion to the Amazon economy a year. This is more than timber. So is it possible that there is no economic value out of this tremendous biodiversity? Our challenge now must be to halt deforestation and begin restoring forests around the world. And we must do this within the decade, or risk the collapse of forests worldwide. It is a huge undertaking, and every country will need its own tailored approach. Some solutions are already underway. We've realized that to have a healthy economy and a healthy society, we need healthy ecosystems. The payment for environmental services financially rewards landowners, including indigenous communities, for protecting and restoring forests. Now we need to accelerate action on a global scale. We can ensure global commodities are traded sustainably, end investments that fund the destruction of forests, and instead support solutions that harness the resilience of nature. We can empower indigenous people who've lived in harmony with the natural world for millennia to be forest guardians. The 400 million indigenous peoples around the world we all know how we can to better manage our ecosystem. Those knowledges we developed for centuries. So these need to be recognized and valued. All the countries, businesses and communities represented here today have the opportunity to change history by preventing further deforestation and restoring the natural world. In doing so, you could leave a legacy as the leaders who took this critical step before it was too late. That is the opportunity in front of you.